Well, folks, today we have some exciting rumors and leaks to bring to you guys dealing with not just the Nintendo Switch 2. You guys know that we obviously talk about that and keep you up to date all the latest and greatest going on with that. And we have some stuff for that. But we also have some leaks, some supposed leaks for the Nintendo Direct happening in June, including a possible time frame of when in June to expect it. And Again, this is some pretty exciting stuff because we know the June Direct is coming. We also know Nintendo Switch 2, or as Nintendo calls it, the Nintendo Switch successor, will have news regarding the platform sometime in the current fiscal year. So these are two things we know are coming up. We haven't actually talked about the June Direct in a bit. Also, some exciting stuff we'll be talking about tonight on our live stream because I actually disagree with three particular big things that are getting a lot of attention out there in the Nintendo community right now. But we'll save that for tonight. For now, we got four big stories to dive into right here. And if you're appreciating all this stuff, well, one, you can just jump down to the timestamps and jump to the stories you care about most. Or two, you can also subscribe to the channel and drop a like that would be greatly appreciated you guys are awesome you've helped me become a full-time youtuber and we would love to hit 150,000 subscribers this year so what are you waiting for let's dive in and get into our first piece of news what if i were to tell you that we apparently have some news on the actual server infrastructure for Nintendo Switch 2. I kid you not. We gotta head on over here to Midori. And you guys remember who Midori is? One of the most reliable insiders we have on the market. Out here saying original research. So this is something that Midori dove into herself. It wasn't based on a source. Saying the network servers for the next Nintendo hardware refer to the console with the code name P01. P01 could be called P1. NTR is Nitro. One could be a short form of Ounce. Ounce is widely believed to be the potential code name for Switch 2. This might be related to the rumors of the code name for the next Nintendo Harbor, but it doesn't end there. The previous Nintendo online servers were using the code names HACK, H-A-C for Switch, and WUP WUP for Wii U, and then CTR for 3DS. P01 has not been used before, and original research confirms these servers are unused and recently configured with similarities to previous Nintendo hardware servers. The servers are using a brand new certificate, and one server, one of the servers that they set up here, appears to allow for network transfers between the hack, aka switch, and the P01. This certificate has similar name to the certificate that was discovered with rumored code name for the next Nintendo hardware. And this person tried to disprove them, and then, um, you know, Midori came out and said, no, CTR, or NTR, sorry, does mean Nitro. Uh, and it says, you know, do you know when the pen hack Savannah PO1 could be? So I'm researching this and having conversation with sources that have information, and that's about it. So what does this really mean? One, Nintendo is setting up the online servers for Switch 2. Look, they're not going to be doing this two, three years ahead of time. This is obviously, to me, a big signifier. 2025 is probably when the system's coming out. But more than that, one of the servers is specifically so they can communicate with Switch. And I find that to be fascinating because this could suggest cross-gen play, as in if you buy a Splatoon 3 version on Switch 2 that's specific for Switch 2, you could have cross-gen play to Switch. It also could just be so you can transfer your games over from Switch to Switch 2. There's multiple reasons you want a server that could potentially connect to Switch 2 and Switch together. Uh, so your speculations are as good as mine. I do find this whole situation fascinating because, again, this deals with the servers and and I think the servers are definitely something worth talking about. Now, we have another rumor coming at us here from a couple of places. Uh, one of them is dealing with Dust Golem, who does a lot of Capcom stuff. And that's really cool. And this is definitely really that. Another one comes from, well, what's specific for our use case for Switch 2, from another person who, again, Dust Golem is a proven rumor leaker insider but has had a few misses lately and then the other person we're going to be talking about is necro felipe lima who again i don't really know his track record history that well i've not been able to find anything that i could directly link to him but this is something we could find out fairly soon based on dust golem so we're just going to look at this this is i'm literally this isn't even going to pretend this is a leak this is full rumor territory first we got aesthetic gamer aka dust golem saying F it, I'm choosing to be the one to burst the bubble in a bigger way of what's going on with Resident Evil. First, I would wipe the expectations of Resident Evil 9 being announced this summer. P01 
period. The initial murmurs I heard, I now do believe, are right. RE9's announcement is further away than this upcoming summer. Sorry for the back and forth on that. That's my fault. The Resident Evil 1 remake rumors are bullshit. As far as I know, Resident Evil 1 is not in any form of development at all right now. Resident Evil 5 is not actively in dev now either. It's been funny seeing this. So he's like, hey, all these Resident Evil rumors, they're just not true. I'm just squashing this stuff right now. And Resident Evil 9 is still some time away before it's announced. All right. Now, um, Resident Evil 9 is pushed back to late 2025 slash 2026. So probably shouldn't expect to see it till summer of next year, in my opinion. Anyways, it says, if... Everything I've heard is correct, which I fully believe it is, and I know others have hinted this. I'm not the first to say this publicly, actually, just it's not caught on. There's actually a remake of Resident Evil Zero and Code Veronica in development right now. I've talked to many others behind the scenes about this at this point. It's something I heard over a year ago. I think it's going to get out whether I was the one to say it or not, and that's about it. So these are the two big things we're talking about, Resident Evil Zero and Code Veronica. Veronica. Well, Necrophilippa Lima comes in and says, and both on Switch to natively. Oh boy, folks. Resident Evil stuff coming to Switch 2 natively. Not really a surprise. Everything we've been hearing when it comes to the rumor and leak mail beyond that server stuff we just talked about has been really specifically about... How shall we put this? It's been specifically about Third-party games, right? Third-party games coming to Nintendo Switch 2. I find this stuff to be really exciting because, again, well, the only thing Nintendo Switch really lacked was full third-party support. It had some. In fact, it had way better than Wii U and arguably, in some ways, better than Wii. But now uh, we're getting this idea that everyone's coming. It's going to get full support, especially from Japanese developers, Square Enix, Capcom, etc., Sega, Atlas. So... I don't know. I'm just really excited about what's happening with that. But we have to get into the second part of this video and the other two rumors. One of them specifically doing with the upcoming Nintendo Direct, which not only tells us something that will be in the Direct, supposedly. We're calling it a leak. It also gives us an idea of when the Direct might be happening in June, because we didn't know that. So let's go ahead and dive in. This comes from Midori yet again. So, Dragon Quest, by the way, announced the Legends of Eldritch Jaws near Dragon Quest Day, Dragon Quest Day, Dragon Quest, yada, 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 announcing some Dragon Quest stuff. Uh, and Midori quotes this tweet and says, More information on Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D will be revealed in a few weeks. Keep that few weeks moniker in mind, because this was announced again today for Switch, PlayStation 5, etc. All right, scrolling down. She says, she's quoting herself, development is still moving forward, and I think there will finally be new information this year. So this is like confirming, hey, the thing she was talking about earlier just got confirmation. So this was May 23rd. Boom. Here's an update. Bada bing, bada boom. Midori is correct again. But then responds and says, I'm currently hearing that Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D will be at the next Nintendo Direct. So keep this in mind. She's saying, I'm currently hearing that Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D will be at the next Nintendo Direct. More information on Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D will be revealed in a few weeks. So if we count today, today is Monday, as a full week, right? So we have a full week, Monday to Monday, a full week. And then another Monday to Monday you know, after that, that's another full week. That's usually considered a couple weeks, a few weeks. Well, now you're starting to look at that week of, well, that, that, that June 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th period, that sort of week, which, by the way, is a typical week for Nintendo to drop directs, although they've occasionally done it towards the end of June as well. I know I personally would love the direct to be that week. It fits into my schedule all nice and hunky-dory. But anyway, so that's where you can get an idea where if this information is supposed to be revealed about this game in the next few weeks, and it's supposed to be in the next Nintendo Direct... You could put two and two together and figure out the next Nintendo Direct might be in that second full week of June, which is pretty damn exciting. Overall, I'm really excited about the prospect of Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D. I've really been into the HD 2D stuff that's been going on out there in this industry, and it just makes me really excited. There's also something else we might see in the Direct, although Midori isn't promising it. This is where we get to the fourth uh, rumor slash leak we have going on. And this is about the Bleach series. So a title related to the Bleach series will be released on Nintendo Switch hardware. And if you people want to know who's making it, it's supposedly 
K-Lab. Now, K-Lab matters. Bleach is a very popular animated series for those who aren't aware, but why does it matter that it's K-Lab? Well, I took a couple notes here. One is because, because I haven't played these games, right? K-Lab has made an MMO uh, that, that they called, uh, what is it, Soul Rising is an MMO they've made based on Bleach. They've also made a beat-em-up gotcha style game uh, called Brave Souls based on Bleach as well. Now, whether or not those are the games they would bring over or it be some new one, what is known is that it seems to be hard to predict what it's going to be like. They made this big MMO. Now they made this beat up. What's this next thing they're making for Bleach? I don't know. Maybe it's not as exciting for some of you guys unless you're really huge fans of the Bleach franchise and animated series. But uh, just throwing it out there that it is another thing. Just another thing rumored as coming to Nintendo Switch, not Switch 2. And that could be one of those things that you would see in a Nintendo Direct. Now, Midori's not promising that Bleach would be in the Direct. Midori's saying that he's heard Dragon Quest 3, HD 2D will be in that Direct. But still, it's nice to hear some stuff pointing towards the Direct. We spent so much time talking about Switch 2 rumors and things that it's nice to get some stuff, at least one thing in particular, that seems to be related to an upcoming event that's happening very, very soon that Nintendo already told us is going to happen so we don't even have to speculate will we get a june direct we are going to get one and now we potentially know a game that's going to be in it maybe two so where does that leave us right now well at the end of the video i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in it's been a ride i was going to make individual videos on all these topics but they kept piling up and i was getting so far behind them like you know what let's throw it all together in one video for you guys hopefully you really enjoyed it we do this every now and then where we put all these topics into a single video I hope it was enjoyable, informative, and hey, we'll have to wait and see if any of this stuff comes true. Uh, Midori did hit again, by the way, on a Dragon Quest update. It happened. Now we just have to see if Midori's about to hit back-to-back -back with Dragon Quest stuff with this Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D at a Nintendo Direct. <laughs> Let's see what happens, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rubblejance, and I'll catch you in the next video.